Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Hannah from the Instagram My Skincare Regime, where I post about skincare products I'm currently using. I also have a blog where I post in-depth skincare reviews, for which the link will be down below. In this video, I'll be swatching and reviewing three products from the K-Beauty brand Axizy. This includes a moisturizing cream, a cleansing foam, and an SPF. Also, if you would like to support both the channel, Instagram and blog, then please consider becoming a patron today. There are different tiers with different benefits such as voting for product reviews and YouTube topics, as well as exclusive content and sneak peek access. Now, let's get on with the video. Of note, none of these products contain added fragrance. Also, the brand is vegan and cruelty free. First up is the Sunday Morning Refreshing Cleansing Foam. This cleanser has a pH of 5.5, so it aims to cleanse the skin while keeping it moisturized. It aims to not strip the skin of its hydration, and it does so with a patented technology called a quaxil, which is a specific combination of ingredients which somehow allows the product to not strip the skin and actually moisturize the skin while cleansing. The key ingredients are green tea, a known antioxidant, licorice, which is soothing, allantoin, which is also soothing, calendula, which apparently is anti-inflammatory, as well as chamomile and centella asiatica or sica, which is also soothing and anti-inflammatory. This also contains birch sap, which is supposed to strengthen the skin's barrier. And this also contains hyaluronic acid. The surfactants are listed on the screen now. So you can tell that this product simply aims to soothe and moisturize the skin while cleansing. You can use this product daily. As you can see, it kind of looks like chewing gum the way it's sticky and tacky. Of course, this texture completely changes when you add water but right now it's more like a gel or a cream. Very easy to spread along the skin as you can see, but yes, this isn't a makeup remover, so don't use this to try and dissolve your makeup. I think it's good at removing SPF and also removing regular dirt and grime from the skin. I actually think that this is a better version of the Crave Matcha Hemp Cleanser. I found that cleanser way too harsh and stripping, but I have not found it with this cleanser. I have used this to cleanse my face a few times, and this is really good at removing my SPF. The brands state that you shouldn't put this on your eyes, which is a bit annoying, but that does mean that you can't really remove eye makeup with this product. Nonetheless, this isn't a makeup remover, so I would definitely say to use this product as a second cleanse after you've used an oil cleanser to remove your makeup. I definitely would recommend this to all skin types. I think it's gentle enough to be used by even sensitive skins. And this is what the product looks like when it foams up. It's very easy to get into a lava. I don't get any scent from this, by the way. Next up is the Sarah Hart My Type Duo Cream. Now this is a two-in-one moisturizing cream as it contains a U-zone and a T-zone cream. So it's supposed to be an adaptable cream. You can mix and match, you can change the ratio, or you can simply use one or the other, depending on your skin's needs and your skin type. They are two unique formulas, meant to suit each moisturizing need. The gel cream aims to hydrate oily skin without greasiness and can be applied on the T-zone, so the oily areas of the face. And the U-zone cream is supposed to soften and support dry skin. Both of these creams contain Centella Asiatica or Sica, and they both contain Allantoin, which is soothing, as well as Sorghum, which is skin brightening. In terms of the U-zone cream, it contains Persilane, and interestingly, a technology called Pure Medi, which is supposed to help stimulate collagen production, thereby reducing the look of wrinkles. 
And the T-Zone cream contains a technology called Heart Leaf, which is supposed to control excess oil production. The T-Zone cream also contains sage, which is supposed to help soothe irritation. And it also contains rice extract, which is supposed to help brighten the skin and strengthen the skin's barrier, as well as reduce oil production. As you can see when swatching the T-Zone cream, it's almost transparent. It has a bit of a blue tint because it contains guazoline, which is soothing. This definitely has more of a gel-like texture, but it's not too sticky. I find that it's only sticky if I apply too much product onto the face, so I can understand why it's meant to be concentrated in the T-zone. But what I do, because I want to spread this around my whole face, is that I mix it with a bit of the U-zone cream, and that helps alleviate some of the stickiness. By the way, I don't get any smell from this. This is also very cooling on the skin. And do you see how it provides a shiny finish? Personally, how I use these creams is that I mix and match them with a ratio of two to one. I like mixing them together as I think I create an even better texture that really suits my skin. And I want to get the benefit of both creams all over my face, not just separately on the U-zone or the T-zone. I think these feel really good together and they definitely moisturize and hydrate my skin at the same time. As you can see when applying the U-zone cream, it honestly just feels like a thin moisturizing cream. It reminds me of the Etude House Soon Jung Emulsion. It's quite lightweight. I don't think this cream would suit very dry skins, but I think oily and oily combination could really enjoy this cream. My skin looks and feels moisturized. I got no irritation while using these creams either. I really like them. Now this is supposed to be a lightweight moisturizing cream, which I think it is. I would say this is slightly thicker than the Crave Oat So Simple Water Cream. It provides a matte finish as you can see, which is why if you want a bit of a shinier yet creamy finish, you can mix and match the two creams. The T-Zone Gel is definitely more shiny in terms of a finish compared to the U-Zone Cream, which has a more matte finish. Next up is the complete No Stress Physical Sunscreen. So yes, this is a physical, mineral or inorganic sunblock. The filters are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. This is a mugwort based sunscreen. Mugwort of course is meant to be soothing. This sunblock does aim to calm and relieve skin from sun exposure, as well as other irritations. It focuses on moisturizing, but especially soothing and calming irritated skin. I think this could really suit those with light skins who are very sensitive and of course people whose skins are really easily irritated, especially by organic or chemical SPFs. In terms of key ingredients, this contains calendula, which is soothing, as well as grape extract, which forms a protective film on the skin supposedly, green tea, which is supposed to be an antioxidant and helps condition the skin, as well as chamomile, which is soothing, and squalane, which is moisturizing, this also contains allantoin, which is soothing and anti-inflammatory. The patented technology this contains is called Syncol, which supposedly promotes collagen production in the skin and also protects collagen from being disintegrated, as well as promoting hyaluronic acid production in the skin. So basically this SPF with continued use other than sun protection, should also help promote elasticity and firmness. As you can see, this has a cream-like texture. It's not difficult to spread this along the skin. And also, this isn't sticky or tacky on the skin. It does feel more like a paste. Also, I don't get any strong smells. Because this is an inorganic SPF, it takes time for the white to disappear so I just have to keep rubbing. This is as soon as I've stopped rubbing in the product. It still needs to absorb and settle, but obviously you can see that there is a white effect on the hand. 
but at least it's not sticky. After leaving the product to dry fully on my hand, you can see that the whiteness has basically disappeared. I just think it has brightened my skin tone. And also it doesn't make me look oily or greasy or shiny. It definitely has more of a matte finish. As you can tell, this definitely is a physical SPF in terms of the way it looks and how it applies. This definitely has a cream-like texture when rubbing into the skin, but I don't get a very strong SPF scent from this, thank goodness. It just takes time to rub in, to let that white kind of disappear and blend into the skin. As you can see, I'm just trying to pat the product in rather than rubbing it in. I think that works better when it comes to an SPF that's physical. Due to the titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, it can be a little bit chalky or powdery. So actually tapping the product in helps blend it a bit more, I think. To me, this feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't dry out my skin. I think personally, this just gives me a brightening effect. My skin looks more glowy, but I don't think I look sick or I look like a ghost. I will definitely say that this SPF is not good to work out in. If you sweat while wearing this, the product does emulsify and you sweat what looks like milk. And there you have it. Those are the three products. What was your favorite? Comment down below. Personally, I think my favorite was the moisturizing duo cream because I really like the idea of mixing and matching my moisturizers to get the right texture that I want. If you want me to try any other products from Axazy, then comment down below. I have fully reviewed these three products on the blog, so if you would like to check out the full details, then please click on the link down below. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe today for future content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.